hello guys welcome back to the another new lecture in this lecture uh, i'm going to show to i'm going to show to you how to design this website so this is the responsible responsive web website so you'll show that in the previous lecture uh, i was design this portfolio website design using html and css javascript we can help make the plex rewrites so you'll show that this is the This is the website, but uh, it was actually white background color, and everything is white. So for that, I'll redesign uh, re this website using HTML and CSS with JavaScript. So guys, I hope and I believe that you will learn something from this lecture. So thank you guys, and if you like my video, then obviously subscribe my YouTube channel. So this is our design and firstly we will just this is our home tag home page and in the here we will show that this is the uh, TypeScript carousel here after that about section this is the about section so design is very smooth and uh, in the here you will show that this is the social logo in the here and the link of when you just click this Twitter then it will open the Twitter accounted so after that you will show that here is the service section area this is our service section area so guys this is the beautiful and uh, very awesome service section area so after that resume section so resume section you will just uh, you will just show to your experience and your certification certificate where you earn to the your certificate and uh, like that certificate name after that where from earn you it and after that description in the here then in the here you can just give this year passing year okay guys so hopefully you'll better understand in this example when i was when i will uh, design this section so okay guys so after that skill section skill section is very very important for you and uh, the, you will just uh, show to your skills in the here after that professional skills uh, communication and teamwork self motivation speed so now guys uh, some about uh, abilities so after that here portfolio section so this is the our tab section so and to show that this is uh, our project project title and everything is okay this is the pop-up section it will uh, I will work in this here JavaScript okay guys so this is portfolio section after that block section so this is the block section so after that in the in the last of the section it will be contact from and contact from is a very nice design in the here looking very cool so guys after that end of the finish line this is the our footer area and footer section in the here social platform and this is the our sub footer okay guys and in the here you will show that this is the top bar button then you will come in the home section so I, I hope and i believe that you will learn from something uh, new learn from this lecture so thank you guys stay tuned web code game So I'll uh, I'll just uh, I'll create a one folder inside your of your current location like that. Uh, you can uh, create this any folder inside of this uh, uh, any one kind of folder. You can just create this. Okay, guys. So hopefully you just create this new folder, uh, or you can using this Control Shift and after that create this folder and after that CSS and fonts images and javascript JSS. so i'll just open this code using this cmd type and here you can using this code where you will just uh, you are using to the vs code then you can use it code dot or you can using this <coughs> you are using now code insider then you can just type here code 
insiders then it will be automatically open to the VS code okay guys so hopefully you will better understand in this example so at first I'll just define this index dot HTML coded in the here this is the our language attribute and this is the drug type after that this is the chart set meta chart set after that view comfortable so in the here you will show that this is the keyboard meta tag name so after that title this is the title so in the here connection link up and everything i already designed this make this part after that in the here this is the body part section and into the loading text area okay guys so hopefully you will better understand in this example after that into the line this is the our footer section area and this is our jquery connect, uh, connecting the js folder okay guys so you will show that here is the our inside of this folder here is the our file is files so you will just link up this script using this script src then folder name then after that your current file location okay guys so i hope you'll better understand in this examples example so in the previous lecture i already described uh, i already i already told it about this so i uh, in this lecture i don't need to this analyze explain this explanation this how to connect the jquery plugin on your jquery folder like that file location so don't i don't i think i don't i think i don't need to this here okay guys so now i'm going to start this inside of this nav bar section so hopefully you will better understand in this example so I, in the previous already i just uh, i created in the another folder images and inside of this images folder you will show that here is a lot of uh, folder inside uh, here like the vlog portfolio testimonial about facts and home page and icons okay guys so this is the very simple so i'll just uh, give this startup file in the github so don't worry about this okay so firstly i'll just uh, upload this in the github section so now i'll create the github like that github dot com so i'll give this uh, link in my description value so don't worry about this and to name this exact name on page portfolio so copy this and open this okay guys so in the here on page portfolio is located in the already exist audio 2 oh that section cannot be completed because the folder or file it is it is open in the another program so that's why I'll just cancel this and okay don't worry about this I'll check this one page public it and create this so now I'll come back in the VS code and you can just using this source control so initialize is this re repository so first you, you have to come back in the command palette and git clone after that clone from git or you can just using this common palette after that git add don't need to the git add ok guys so git click this here so you will show that here is the lot of file inside of this here <coughs> now go to the common palette and in the here you will show that git at remote ok guys hopefully you will better understand in this example then you can just using this repository name so 
here you will show that repository name automatically connected in the here why automatically connected because i already uh, sign up this location sign up this github on my github link in the here okay guys for that you will show that here and that is a very uh, underst uh, very well and uh, for understanding better understanding just uh, i'll explain it okay and in the here please provide remote name fresh enter name is Keith. just you will come back in the browser and provide name <coughs> ok everything is ok so just you will change this name changes <coughs> name changes so that is the way how to how, how to upload the, uh, how to upload using the bs code on, on the on your code on the github so this is the way you can just commit at this so everything everything is committed now you will just come back in the here and simply click this on page portfolio public uh, publish branches okay guys then I'll show that when it will be finished then come back in the browser and refresh it so everything is here and you'll show that this is our beginner and the starting startup folders so guys i hope you'll better understand and uh, you'll learn how to upload using the vs code from the github so i think you will better understand in this example okay guys so now <coughs> you can so now you can control this your source control the panel then you can use it anything in the here just use using this another file like that h1 tag okay then you will show that here is the one pop-up location like the pending uh, changes then you can just using this name changes or any, anything and commit this then it, it will be automatically uploaded on your github account okay guys so i hope you will better understand in this another example so now i am going to start this start navbar section <coughs> so in the here i am going to using this nav section part no. jquery plugin after this nav section I not come to just cut it and check this again never okay come to the never but why don't nev So inside of this here nav classes nav class name will be nav bar then nav bar default div dot container class name will be container oh no where is problem now ok I'll cut it and I'll give this link in my description below so don't worry about this now I'll check it again what's the problem in the here so guys this I'll just change this color name color theme oh no this is the <coughs> div dot container
by default just I'm going to start this neighbor but <coughs> okay div class container then div class menu toggle it will be neighbor header I don't need to this okay using this just start now that is the very awesome and to come back in the browser and refresh this <coughs> okay so our mm, logo and uh, neighbor section is come to here but uh, I don't need to this in the way neighbor by default this is the class name and in the here I'm going to using this menu toggle menu toggle T O uh, G neighbor header after that in the here span pattern class name will be okay when you look just using this uh, mobile location then it will be open to the toggle button okay that's why you can using this src only So guys, after that here, I'll just delete this and inside of this here toggle menu, I'll just delete this. I don't need to this images in the here. I'm going to using this pen. Okay, I don't know actually what is the problem in the here. Span. going to use this hashtag inside of this here then after that in the here span then I'm going to using this another M A S U K refresh in the browser then you will show that here is the um, logo so if you want to like uh, then using this logo then you can using these images okay guys I'll just minimize this code the here you can using this image image src okay then it will work in the here okay just refresh this browser then you will show that here is the logo inside of this span after that logo okay guys so hopefully you will better understand in this example just just i'll minimize this code so the here i just delete this and refresh it browser again so oh what is the problem minimize this code in using this after that using this refresh it then you will show that here is your span logo ok guys so hopefully you will better understand in this example now I am working inside of this neighbor section area so I will just using this style.css main.js in the here nav section area I am going to using this lead and delete this after that in the here this is our neighbor I'll just copy this and paste it here this is the class name so inside of this class name I'll just design this in the inside of this neighbor section area I'm going to using this background RGBA
after that position relatives so it will be absolute position absolute and inside of this here top 0 left 0 with 100 percent after that border none border none so inside of this here margin bottom 0 then after that I am going to using this another padding it will be padding top pixel after that padding bottom 10 pixel so jet index <coughs> 999 so inside of this here I am going to using this never and after that dot active nav the here you will show that the nav bar then after that you, know, you can using this nav bar then active nav ok and you will sh I am going to using this position relatives and padding will be 10 pixel and 0 after that uh, float right and jet index 2 background transparent border none outline will be none so inside of this here cursor point cursor pointer or cursor display none so I will come back in browser and refresh this okay everything is okay so now i'll do what i do in the here just active menu and the startup button will be white <coughs> after that in the here using this nav bar then dot menu travel the block which ok using this tab so in the here this the block after that it will be 30 pixel I don't need to start it now just using this 28 pixel so after that height it will be 2 pixel ok then background color I don't need to this background I don't need to this margin of background color I'll just change this menu toggle it will be never toggle in the here you will show that this is the never toggle ok guys inspect this ok 
background color which changes in the here okay guys I'm going to using this copy this title and using this number and and the side or first side with 14 pixel after the tutorial view margin margin right okay I'm going to see the same now inside of this here menu never menu toggle never toggle then nth side I don't know this which number the function so I'm going to cut this so inside of this here and the side using this number of two margin Six pixel zero last side last child and first child will be similar okay guys so hopefully you'll better understand in this example after that i'm going to using this never menu toggle So I already did design this in the inside of this here. So in the here, this is the mobile, mobile responsive, and after that, vertical navigation inside of this here. So you will show that the, this is the already sum of code. I already defined this. So guys, now I'm going to come back in the here and change this name changes. Okay, and commit this and post it here then you will show the when it, it will be finished then you will show that inside of this here refresh this then you will you will show, show that inside of this here main.css our code inside of this here okay guys so when you are using this in, in this code then you will just copy this code 
okay so hopefully you will better understand in this example so guys now uh, today i will finish this lecture see you soon in the next lecture